Okay, um, this is the last of our videos in Unit 10. It's about compound verbs um, and how they work in Greek. So a compound means it's composed of more than one element. And, um, and uh, usually it's composed, compound verbs are composed of two elements. That is a verbal root like ago or, 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 or pempo or the ones that we, that we do, luo, okay? Um, and what do you, what is this other element of it? Well, it's, it's what we've learned as prepositions. Um, the words like apa, which means away from, ek, which means out of, and which means into. Um, originally, these words were not prepositions, or what we're going to learn that they are today, we call, we call them preverbs, but adverbs, sentence adverbs, that came at the beginning of sentences. And, and two things happened to them. On the one hand, they became prepositions, which is the way we learn them. The other thing that happened to them is that they became preverbs. Okay? So you can take a verb like ago, and you can make it be up, apa plus ago. When you, when you compound ago with a pa, you lose the omicron. Okay? There's, a, there's a very old rule of deletion, like an apostrophe. It's a rule like that, and it becomes up ago. You can, you, can, you can have ek plus ago, and that means that's ek ago. Um, you can have n plus ago, that's, that gives you n ago, and so forth, okay? And, and you, you get, in, in effect, this increases, yes. this simple principle increases the vocabulary of Greek verbs by hundreds of thousands. Because every yeah. verb can be, every, you can have hooper ago, and, and hoop ago for hoppa, mm -hmm. and so forth and so on. And all of these things have a different nuance to them, and then they start to develop special meanings and stuff like that. Right. It's a huge resource of this language. Um, there are a few places where you have two preverbs, like um, you can say uh, n plus a pa plus a verb. Okay, um, there, we, we haven't had any of those, but we'll see examples of that later on. Um, and, and they just apply both forms. So what is, let, let's first talk about meaning. What does apa plus ago mean? Well, it, it, it turns out that these things, since they were sentence adverbs, they don't necessarily mean the same thing as the prepositions when they're used in composition. Mm -hmm. So apa ago means, it does mean lean away from, okay, but apa in front of any verb means to do, means to lead back to, okay, to do it again if you want, or to, so it's like re in English, like we we do, okay, um, we lean somebody, <laughs> okay. Um, so your, the book is going to teach you now. Now that you've learned upon ek and en and pair as prepositions, it's going to teach you what upon en and ek mean when they're compounded with verbs, okay. So for example, in this lesson they tell you that upon means uh, away from. They've left out that it also means back. Can add that in, okay? Um, it's that's not especially challenging or informative, but but here's the the simple rule about these verbs that you need to know, which is I gave you one of them. That is the um, when the when the preverb ends with a, a vowel, that vowel just goes away if the verb begins with a vowel like apa plus ago, you just lose the up, okay? The mm -hmm. a rather. Um, the, the other two rules are this, that you, the accent never goes past beyond the verb, okay? So, for example, the, air, the perfect of ap ago is ap echa, right? yeah, it's got an aspirated for perfect, the root of ago, with an eta, but you have a circumflex over the eta, like Policia has done so beautifully, it never becomes what you would expect it to be right. with an recessive accent, ap echa, okay? So, so, so you want it to be that, but you it want can't it to be that, go it past the actual it word. Can't go past, okay? okay. The, the second thing which this form shows you, too, is that you never have an augment that goes past beyond the verb, okay? In other words, you always augment the verb, mm -hmm. you never augment the preverb, oh, okay? So if you have ek ago, you're going to have ek echa, or ek agon in the imperfect, and so forth, okay? Mm -hmm. Those are the moves about compound verbs.